Hello everybody, welcome to the first quarter-final of the CCL Season 54, the last ever real chalice. Uh, we've got Sparky73 with his pretty nice uh, Chorf team versus Andy Devo with his not very nice <laughs> Necro team. Um, really sucks only having the one fleshy, that's the biggest thing. It, with two fleshies, in, it, his chances go up a lot, but... Uh, he hasn't got like, so he hasn't got much, but then you know I think Necro are a team where they, they do well in min max build, but um, you know chorfs if the chorf if the claw pom goes off, it's GG, isn't it? Oh, he's dackering. What the hell? Did he think he was on defense? <laughs> what? <laughs> the zombie dacker. Um. Oh dear. Oh oh dear. Did he think this was a good idea? Did he really think this was a good idea? Like you can't think this is the like the only way you do this is if you think it's the literal only way you can win. And there's one claw pom for the chorfs. Like if there was four claw pommers and you, you thought they were going to eviscerate you, fair enough. But there's like literally one claw pom. Like genuinely trying to surf that claw pommer is better, isn't it? Just going for the five plus dodge and surfing it. Is literally better than whatever the fuck this is. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. I mean, <laughs> I love the Dakar. I love the Dakar, don't get me wrong. But yeah, move seven. Uh, seven, move seven. Seven, move four players that are all agility two. It's. Uh, I mean, plus doing it versus two, movement nine block break tackle guys right one with tackle who can just run down your wolf completely like yeah he's got he's got dirty player it just he's got two dirty players he could have yeah he could have just blitzed it and fouled it fleshy could have blitzed it and fouled it right it's like this is really weird This is really weird. I don't even know how you dack it with four mobile players versus bulls. Maybe it's just the content here. Maybe he thought it was going to be a hard game. And he'd probably lose. So now he can just do this and say, the Dakar sucks. It's the only way I could win, I had to do this crazy tactic. It was the only chance I had. And when it loses, it's, uh, well, it was such a hard matchup, it was the only chance I had. I, like, is that the idea? I just don't understand. I literally don't understand. I literally don't understand. <laughs> you should really move forward turn three, mate. <laughs> it's gonna take them another turn to even do anything. <laughs> oh dear. What a weird, weird, weird strategy. Did he stream this? Does any does anybody know? The only thing that makes sense to me is that he streamed it and he hyped up how how much of an unwinnable match it was. So he had to do this to have a chance. So that when he lost he'd have an excuse. Like that seems to be the only thing that makes sense to me. Like, literally, like, you can't think this is a good idea for winning, can you? Can you? 
Like, it's easy for him to get lucky, put Pom and, and Gang Foul chuff blockers. Maybe he just wanted to lose and just couldn't be bothered. I don't know. It's fucking weird, though, isn't it? Maybe he just didn't care and just thought, oh, fuck it, I'll dack her in there. And it'll be over with. Like, just if you're not feeling it, you're not feeling it. Pissed off he wasn't streaming Blood Bowl 3, getting twice as many views. <laughs> just think he could be playing Minecraft and, and getting a hundredth of the views. That's where the real money is. Yeah, exactly right. Like, I would, you know, no offense to Sparky, but Dave was better than him. Like, just definitely. A Blood Bowl. <laughs> He's definitely better at Blood Bowl than him. So, like. And yeah, he's the kind of player where he could get. He could get a chance. Could give him a chance. And it's like, you know, he could, but he could just high roll. Like, it's so easy to high roll, right? He's got. He's got claws, he's got palm, he's got loads of gang fouls. And you can easily high roll, like he doesn't have to, like, the fucking dackering with zombies. It's so weird. And again, I'd understand if it was like versus four claw palm chops. But it isn't, it's one that you can gang foul. And maybe snipe, like maybe snipe and maybe gang foul. So weird. I mean, it was the loss of the the flesh. Like the, without the second flesh, it is huge. To be fair, I think his team is a bit rubbish, but really, really, really weird. I mean, it might work. <laughs> it hasn't gone as badly as I thought it would have gone. <laughs> <laughs> It actually hasn't gone as badly as I thought it would have gone. Which, okay, I mean, that's maybe not saying much, because, boy, did I expect it to go wrong. Did he forget to stand firm here? Really nice to tag that down bow, wouldn't it? Like, it's gone pretty well. It's actually gone pretty well. But the tackle ball is back. Or should be very soon, anyway. Oh dear. <laughs> I don't like this. Hate this. Hate this play. I want I want him back, you know, like here or something, and then just blitz without tackle. Don't let your bulls touch. It is pretty great advice. Hello, Tim. It was indeed. Fumble. I've played a bit of Fumble. I might even put the replay of the game versus Rick on because uh, I started off streaming the, the site instead of the match. This is the wizard turn. Like, why? There's no, uh, there's no scoring even if he wizards. <laughs> I don't think so. So better to better to just get out with this half nil nil and then use the wizard to turn over and try and win one nil, right? I just looks fucked. Like, 
the strategy was already questionable at best, but then to wait an extra turn to win. Yeah, I don't like unless you cas both balls. Unless you literally cas both balls. And even if you do cas both balls, you're still left with like a potato. Yeah, honestly Mordred, maybe that was his thinking. Genuinely that maybe that was his thinking. Just get it over with quicker so he can get back to Blood Bowl 3. <laughs> <laughs> And it might work, right? But, uh, <laughs> the Necro Dacker. <laughs> I mean, if I could, if I could put up with Blood Bowl three, I'd be streaming Blood Bowl three, obviously. I just can't stand it. Oh my god! So close. Nearly got the insane look. Mm. Oh. Can foul the wolf, can't he? I have a few layers for the gowl. Yeah, well, there's a chance. Not, not a too crazy chance. I'm pretty crazy, obviously. You have to uphill the bull <laughs> to start off. Oh no, one day, one day the bull into an uphill. standing up the wolf to be honest. But I guess this worked out better because it made it handy. No oh, man, nearly nearly got it done. Yeah maybe it wasn't worth keeping that wolf free. I only you know I didn't have much time, maybe he thought about it for a bit about whether it's worth keeping the wolf up or just make it a one and because that wolf could have got in, couldn't he? He should have been a bad scout or whatever. Dodge foul. Yeah, the mover. Stays out. Yeah, it's so like this thing. It's always bigger than you'd think, isn't it? Really, it's that's crazy. That was twenty percent. So yeah, huge, huge uh, sticking removal. Uh, also, somewhat huge. The move five strength four is out, and only uh, ten players. Oh wow! Oh wow! He's only got eleven players, Sparky. Oh okay, Devil's player is even more insane now. <laughs> Oh no no he had twelve. I just couldn't count. Okay, he had twelve. And he still got eleven. Alright. It's still quite insane though, because I still think it's so easy just to high roll. And like you want to high roll.
Maybe wouldn't have done anyway, right, with the two DPs. Ah, I could blitz with Mighty Blow. He's gonna blitz without it. Ah, doesn't matter. How old is it? I guess this is meant to be guarding against Frenzy a bit. But like this guy's a sacrifice, isn't he? I'm just really tired there. I've been, I'm just, I've been in a weird, weird place the last few days. Hip switch, no, it's just, just mentally, I don't know. I'm exhausted. And obviously this game is mental. Because it seems Dave would just wanted to get it over with and didn't want to play Blood Bowl. Fair who can win. If I could if I could stomach Blood Bowl 3, I wouldn't be playing Blood Bowl 2. That's for sure. Or watching Blood Bowl 2. Like if only Blood Bowl 3 had been good. If only it had been as good as Blood Bowl 2. It didn't even have to be good. It just had to be not the worst fucking game I've ever seen. <laughs> Wasn't a high bar. That could have happened first half if he'd if he'd played properly. Oh, now he's playing properly. The old shithead necro dodge blitz. <laughs> Amazing. Oh look, if he'd moved here, like I said, he'd be able to blitz him without G fires. Just quietly. Now he has to hit him without pump. Hmm, is he going because of the wizard? Maybe. This is a little bit non-standard, isn't it? Maybe because of the wizard. Maybe Devil has to wizard this turn. He's got the uh, chain, hasn't he? I don't know what it achieves. Maybe he's had to fireball there or bolt. Maybe it just doesn't care. <laughs> oh well, it was a good one to start anyway, things can only get better. <laughs> Yeah, 
That's the problem, like it didn't get any clearance, so it just failed. <laughs> I, I would have rather seen a, a fireball. Because if you take down the bull, it's interesting. Obviously, if you take down the bull, it's brilliant. And then it gives you the chance to high roll by getting like two or three. Now it looks too late for the wizard. Saving it for open. Saving the fireball for open ladder. game versus Rick. Rick tried seven one dices. Seven one dice blocks and rolled a pal six out of seven times. <laughs> Just quietly. Sparky might just score now, eh? I don't hate just scoring here, like, you know, you can say it's uh, it's bad to score here, because obviously you should really be stuck scoring up the whole half with a superior team, but after Devo's offensive drive, I think getting it done is totally fine. I guess he could go back here, couldn't he? He could, uh, he could see if he has the the flesh again. There we go. Hmm, does remove the fleshy. So going back is an option. I think he'll score though. I think scoring's fine. The driver is very offensive. <laughs> yeah, probably need a power as well. Maybe if you power me, he might have come back. There you go. Devil still got a chance though, eh? Four turns with a wizard. Ooh, bad KO rolls. Horrendous KO rolls. Horrendous KO rolls. <laughs> I got a team of zombies. <laughs> Eight fucking zombies. <laughs> but still, you know, the wolves, the wolves are still good. And the white exists. been doing wrong in your life extreme x-wing <laughs> that's not how you get them Zombies, but it was alright. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, 
healthy amount of coffee later. Horrific kick. Oh, I got an extra reroll, so it's not his last one he used to pick it up. Looks like he wants to keep the other one back for a handoff, but just not. Just ending the turn is a bit shit, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. You could have had him two forward like this or something, so that his max range for a handoff and get forward and stuff. At least one, right? So you can get base from a forward. Can't have been optimal just to leave him where he was. Hello, Daedal. I mean, <laughs> not particularly, but feel free. The first half was insane. Had you seen this match, David? It was mental. Actually mental. My hypothesis is uh couldn't be bothered. For whatever reason. And there's a lot of reasons, isn't there, to not care about Blood Bowl too. Absolute complete lack of caring is the is the only real explanation right for Dave Ogway like that. It was horrendous. <laughs> Just a horrendous idea to dacker with Necro. <laughs> it just wasn't gonna but it still that was twenty percent to work, but Letting the bulls touch here isn't so bad because there's not that much movement, but there's still probably like a chance, right? I still kind of hate it because there's a chance, right? Go the diagonal here, get rid of him, push through here, one, two, three, four, fuck off the game, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, GFI, GFI, you can get pretty far away, you get like here or something, so you could bolt this one. Mm. Okay, well, you can also just blitz him and then and then dodge through here. I quite like dodging through here and just going as far away from the balls as I could get. Hold the skull anyway. There you go. That is all she wrote. Yeah, bolt the top bolt. Yeah. Don't base him and then roll the skull anyway. <laughs> That's something we can all agree on this map. <laughs> Whatever you're gonna do, don't roll ones. But yeah, you've got to use the whiz there. Like you're not getting to overtime, right? You've got you've got to get to you've got to. Be in overtime to win, so you've got to expend your resources. But then that's the that's the that's the other thing that you know Dio said before is, what's the point in expending your resources to get overtime if you can't win in overtime? So take a smaller percentage chance to get to overtime for a bigger chance of winning if you get there. But I don't agree at all. I think you've got to. I think you've just got to get there. Lots can happen in a game of Blood Bowl, can it? It's why I don't really agree with... It's why I don't really agree with, uh, you know, Chalice Equity and stuff as well, really. Like, just so much of it is in match equity. Chalice Equity is only, is only slivers at best. Like, Blood Bowl's just so random, right? Like in the tennis, in the old days when it was Nadal and Federer, 
you know, if one of them got injured, then it's huge tournament equity, isn't it? But for the other one, but Blood Bowl's not like that. There's just so much luck that it's just, you know, you've got to do everything you can to battle to win every match that you're in and every drive that you're in. So there you go, that was it. 20 AV breaks, and it didn't seem like he'd made that many AV breaks, to be honest. But it did make 7 KOs and 4 cards, but like, well, most regen, weren't they? Actually, mostly stayed out was the weird thing. That was a. Uh, I know, just a non game, non game. I guess Devo couldn't be bothered. There you go. Um, commiserations, Andy Tafo. Enjoy Blood Bowl 3. And uh, congratulations to Sparky. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.